Okay, um, we don't, we, we have our, our coach's award and then we have our team MVP. These are the ones that go in the record books. You'll see it years from now. If you ever come back, your names will be on there. Um, this year, um, it, it wouldn't have been right if, if these, both of these guys didn't, didn't, didn't get the uh, MVP award. Um, you talk about bread and butter, peanut butter and jelly. Um, I, think, I think these two guys sort of did it. Um, I mean, you know, we were at our very best when these two were playing well together. And I think the co-MVP this year, um, as you guys can probably see, uh, you know, they, they, they were the engine that let us go. And it started with Nate bringing it up, it, 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 finishing it with Kingsley, um, vice versa. I mean, these two guys just did it all for us. And uh, co-MVPs this year, Nathan Sanchez and Kingsley. This is the, uh, the league awards. And so at the end of each year, all of the, the freeway league coaches get together and we do our all league awards. And so you have all the coaches sitting there and they nominate players and you know you can't vote for your own guy. So it's usually other coaches uh, looking at your roster, see how they did against you and, and they start nominating. And so all the votes get tallied and then there's a first team and a second team. And this year we were fortunate enough to get three guys, and so I wanna talk about this, and this is where I'm gonna do a little stats. I just wanna share some stuff with you here. Um, we talked about this player earlier, about how he spent four years on varsity with us. Uh, he leaves Sunny Hills with fifth all time, uh, in terms of, you know, when we talk about the Max Preps era, it's 2004 and on, when records are kept digitally. Um, as long as I've been at Sunny Hills, some of these old records, I don't even know if the coaches even kept them. I don't know, but I know for a fact from 2004 and on, which is the last 20 years, I have all of it. And so in the Max Preps era, um, he leaves Sunny Hills the fifth all-time three-point baskets made with 127. Uh, Justin Shim, second team all three. Woo! Justin, 13th all-time uh, career points scored, 734 points. And so that's Justin Shin. Uh, these two guys, first team all freeway league here. Um, this guy right here, he is going to leave Sunny Hills, eighth all-time in single season assists, 147. Um, and we talked about the passing. I think if he would have stayed with us for, for a few more years, I think more records would have been broken. Um, I mean, no offense to some of our guys, and Coach Shaw said this, there was a lot of points that were left off out there by you know guys maybe missing a layup or an opportunity that, that Nate set up for them. And so there, that could have been more, but um, great playmaker. Um, you're gonna go, you're gonna always gonna be remembered, Nate. And Nathan Sanchez, first team all through the guy here. Uh, I think I told you guys earlier about the, uh, the field goal percentage. Um, he, was, he was the guy that, uh, that all the coaches mentioned um, in, in, our, in our league meeting. And I think they realized like how big of a piece he was for us, a part of our team. Um, you know, we like, to, we like to throw the ball inside. We like to work inside out. And so, you know, we can get you a ball. You know, you just got to finish it. And he had great moments uh, this year where uh, he, you know, carried us in games. Um, especially, you know, in the, in the CIF game against South Pasadena where, you know, we lost the game, but he had one of his better games of the, of the year, which was um, uh, in, in that loss. Um, first team all freeway league. I'm, so, I'm sorry, the record books, you were so close, Kingsley, but, you know, I mean, you're, you're, you're going to still be remembered in terms of, you know, how, how close you were uh, with that field goal percentage. Um, we're really going to miss his tenacity, Kingsley Ashley. Yo, Bubba. 
And last announcement uh, with Kings. Can I save this one for last? Um, Kingsley has been uh, nominated, or actually is going to. Um, this is from the county, countywide. Uh, he is going to be playing in the, the county all-star game. game that's that's uh, you know from Orange County uh, he's gonna be representing our school wearing our jersey that's gonna be on Saturday April 27th best you believe we're gonna be there to support you and, and any of you guys want to come check him out I believe if you're a student it's free so you guys can come check out Kingsley and, and, and let's send him off you know well um, who knows Kingsley you might you might you know have an opportunity to play at the next level um, I know he's got a couple of places that he's talking to uh, but we wish nothing but the best for Kingsley and uh, moving forward. So congratulations, Kingsley. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that pretty much concludes our, our uh, event tonight. Um, once again, oh, I forgot, yes. We gotta get our varsity guys up here. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's ready. Look at this, we got, we got a tag team event. All right, folks, remember what the freshmen Sophomores, please look nice. Let's see what these guys got. <laughs>
just thank you so much like for everything you've done for me. You've helped me get through a lot. And yeah, bro, I love you. And then my older brother, I'm not sure where he is right now, but um, <laughs> yeah, I just want to say thank you so much, bro. Like you made everything like um, in terms of basketball wise happen for me. Without you, like I wouldn't be standing up here. You know, I don't know what I would be doing without you. You know, you you sacrificed so much. Like even in high school, you used to take me to games with you. Um, when I was a little chubby kid, and like, you just took me everywhere with you. Um, you're like my second dad. Like you were like you really raised me. Like, and I thank you so much for that. And um, I love you so much. And he just got married to his new wife Taylor. And I just want to say thank you as well because ever since you came into my life, you just made it better. Um, you just came in and just started supporting me right away. Um, and like it was genuine support, you know. I remember my freshman year, you came to my games and took pictures for me, and that really meant a lot for me. And so I want to say thank you to you guys. And uh, congratulations, and I love you both. And then to my dad, um, you know, we don't really talk that much, but you know, we have like a really nice relationship, in my opinion, right? I feel like me and you are so similar, and I really look up to you so much. And always, my mom tells me that me and my dad are like twins, and that's one person that I don't really talk to like tell people about but he's one person I really truly look up to he does everything for me he cooks for me like he makes so much food for me you drive me everywhere um, you do anything I ask of you and I hope I've been a good son to you but I just want to say thank you so much for like this opportunity you've given me and how many sacrifices you've made for me and then to my mom, I know she's not here right now, but I hope she sees this in the video. <laughs> I'm so like indebted to you. Um, she's not here right now because she has work and she works like day and night. I see her when she comes home really late, like 10, 30, 11 sometimes. And I see her maybe in the morning when I wake up before school at like 7.30. Um, she's literally at work so much, like works her butt off um, just to provide for me and my family. And so I just want to say thank you so much, and I love you so much um, to my mom. And then to my teammates, um, you guys supported me a lot this season, you know. Um, like, I, even when I was going through a tough stretch, you know, teammates like Xavier, you know, you really supported me. Like, even when you was having rough stretches, you supported me a lot. And, you know, that's one thing I really admire about you. Like, you're really one of the most selfless people I know. Even when I would get frustrated at you, you would still come at me with such great energy and like encourage me all the time. And so appreciate all you guys for that. And then lastly, to the coaches, um, I feel like you guys, um, when I met Coach Oak and the Jamba Juice for the first time, <laughs> um, I didn't know it would be a start of something like so special to me as it, as it is. But he's someone I really look up to, um, like I said. Without him, I don't know where I would be. Um, when I was a little freshman, um, I wasn't really mature. I didn't know what to do. Like, um, I just didn't know how to handle myself. I was super unsure of myself, super unconfident. Um, I didn't think I belonged um, to play at this level. But Coach Oak really just helped nurture me, um, sacrificed a lot for me. I had so many talks with him about just whatever topic it could be about. And he helped me through a lot of things. So thank you for that. And then to Coach Shaw, um, he's a very like, I don't know how to describe his personality, but he's very stern and scary at first, but you know, he's, he's very, um, he has a very, yeah, he's like a softy at heart. <laughs> when I would come to practice, sometimes I would be in a bad mood, I'll be honest with other stuff going on, but practice would be one time where um, if I'm doing, having a rough time, I, already, I always knew that Coach Shock would come up to me, have a talk with me, and just like lighten my mind. He has conversations about random things with me, but that's something I really appreciated about you. And then to Mr. Shaw right there, thank you so much. You've been here like since I've been here for all, all these four years, and um, I feel like your contribution, you know, sometimes it goes under the radar, but it's so much for, for it means so much to us, um, just how much you do. So I just want to say thank you. And then to all the other coaches, 
Um, you guys also helped raise me up, even though I was never part of you guys' team. Um, I know Coach Kim, you know, helped train me back in the day, and then Coach TJ will always give me awards, and so would um, um, <laughs> Coach Jojo. And so I just wanted to say thank you to all you guys, um, you know, for helping me out through these th past four years. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. Yeah. They're really shy and they don't know what to say. And then now we can't get them off the stage. It's, like, it's, it's awesome. So, and you see them. This, this is what grown ups, you know, when, when, when young men become grown ups, that's kind of what it looks like. And so it, all, it always makes us proud to see, you know, the, the, the older guys come together at the end and, and, and put on a really good speech. And, and uh, some, of it, some of it's probably better than what we do up here, I think. So, um, anyway. Just want to say thank you one more time to all the parents. Um, one of the things that I, before we get any further, one of the things that kind of we just kind of neglected here was, you know, Coach Terry Shim is in the back over here. He was one of our varsity assistants this year. Joined us late, got married. You know, he's, he's, he's becoming a teacher, so he's, he's on campuses all over the place while he's student teaching and, and doing his thing. Just got married. Uh, his bachelor party, they came to a game <laughs> on his wedding day, right? No, it was on your wedding day. On, on his wedding day, he shows up at our game. It was amazing. They were in their tuxedos. It was, it was such a great, a, a great time. And, and Terry is learning the game like, yeah. like unbelievably. And he just, he, he gets, he, he brings a fresh set of eyes and, and a couple of old coaches need that. So uh, Terry, we appreciate you, man. Just kind of close it all up is you know um, we've all said it. Uh, this is a big family here. Um, you know the boys, uh, obviously dealing with their coaches, dealing with us, dealing with each other. They learn. Um, you know I work I work uh, in, a, in a law firm, and um, one of the things we do when we interview is you know we ask those questions. You know you ever play a team sport? There's something to be gained just from being part of a team. You know and when when that happens. We look for guys like that. We look for employees who have been a part of it. It makes a difference. This is a part of life that will help them grow up. As you saw from our seniors, you know these guys are, are ready to step out in the world and be and be productive. So hopefully, uh, you know your young men will get to that level as well. We're looking forward to seeing that, and uh, and, and hope that they uh, they can accomplish everything they hope to. Um, <coughs> Thank you. 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 Um, take pictures, enjoy the moment. There's lots of space up here. Um, and uh, see you next year for those of you coming back. Yeah. <laughs>